so previously you were talking about how investment is inversely related to y so our investment schedule is going to look like this this is our y axis x axis zero so our x axis shows planned investment and your y axis showed interest rate right since they are showing a negative relation our slope will be negatively negative which means pretty much like this right which means that so this was point so decrease in interest rate is increasing your investment so this is your investment schedule we are not going to use this actually but just for your knowledge it's this it is the, your investment schedule okay and now we'll be deriving is curve using our previous ad curve now if you all remember then this was our ad okay let's make two graphs it's our x axis so y axis y axis x axis 0 0 cool now this is our ad schedule and this will be our is schedule if you remember then the x axis of ad schedule represented output y output and our y axis represented ad which is aggregate demand okay so we had this curve called ad curve let's say that ad is equal to a plus c 1 minus t y minus b i 1 this is the first interest rate right and then we have another ad curve which is ad is equal to a plus c 1 minus t y minus b i 2 this is another interest rate important note that i 1 is greater than i 2 right now see okay also we have our 45 degrees line the y is equal to ad so that two intersection points so we see in the, in our goods market as investment sorry interest rate decreased because i2 is lower than i1 so as interest rate decreased our output increased from y to y1 right and so our aggregate demand also increased from a minus b i1 to a minus b i2 right so we see a positive relation that when interest rate declined your ad increased and your output increased right now when we extend this line also as i mentioned i1 is greater than i2 so i1 will be over here and i2 will be, sorry i1 over here and i2 will be somewhere over here okay now the where was a i2 this was a i2 one right so this is where your i2 intercept should be similarly when we are talking about our i1 here we had our i1 and so it's going to be over here now if we join these two points we see a downward sloping graph and this is your is curve also this x axis represents output y or output and your y axis represents interest rates okay so we can see our is curve is negatively sloped why due to negative relation or inverse relation between output and interest rate clear now in our next video we'll be talking about is curves slope what causes it to shift 
yes okay so thank you